Now, many of you, just as much as I have, probably seen the Netflix movie that was directed by Ava DuVernay um, called When They See Us. It was about the young brothers with the Central Park Five, and it told that story on Netflix. If you have not seen it, see it. It is a good movie. It's definitely going to make you sad, definitely going to make you pissed off about how they done those young brothers at that time period. Well, of course, you know, the story, the events, they all got out of jail. They, you know, got money because they were all completely innocent. But the woman, the prosecutor that they were showing in the movie, Linda Faristein, she wasn't happy about the movie at all. Now, she is suing Ava DuVernay, the director, and Netflix for the way she was portrayed in the series about the Central Park Five, known as the Exonerated Five. Now, Farristine, who oversaw the prosecution of the then teenage underage youth, filed a fair lawsuit on Wednesday alleging she was portrayed as a racist, unethical villain who is determined to jail innocent children of color at all costs. That's what you done. Why are you mad? Because they showed you, you. See, some people don't like the mirror put up about them, especially people in Linda Farristine's group. They don't like that. See that they want to do all the things they want to do to black people. And then when you show them about who they are and what they've done to us, now that is a problem. Well, ma'am, let's ask you this question. How is she supposed to show you a loving woman who gave those children their proper rights? A, a woman that actually went through all the evidence, didn't have some circumstantial, a, a woman actually cared about children, had empathy with children. What did they lie about? Those men told their story about what you done to them. No matter what you say, Linda, you ruined those men's lives. Had, had them lose many, many years in jail. And then we saw definitely what happened to Corey Wise while he was in jail. And that's all your fault. It's your fault. See, the problem is and why you're suing is because your guilty conscience of what you done to those young men, you watched that movie in its entirety and you were so upset because you finally got to really see in dramatic form, the evil that you have done to those young brothers at the time period. And now you want to sue and you want to sue Netflix as well. So, she denied that she illegally interrogated the unaccompanied minors referred to black folks as animals and suppressed DNA evidence among other aspects of the series. Now she also insists her career as a crime author was obliterated after the release of the project and claims she was dropped by her publisher agents and lost out on speaking engagements. Now Farrestine says that she was forced to resign from her post on the boards of several nonprofits. Farrestein is suing Netflix, DuVernay, and co-writer Atisha uh, Locke for defamation. She's seeking damages and want an apology. She's also hoping to force DuVernay to remove the scenes she takes issue with and wants the series to be billed as a dramatization instead of a true story. Okay? The nerve of this woman ruined those brothers' lives, but she wants things taken out. They're just entitled. I can't stand these entitled people. Oh, I can't stand it. Now they said Netflix isn't backing down. They said they issued a statement making it clear they're ready to fight. They said Linda Farrisine's frivolous lawsuits without merit. They said we intend to vigorously defend when they see us and Ava DuVernay and Atika Locke. They say the incredible team behind this series. So Netflix is say, yeah, bring it. We're ready to go to court over this show. We're not taking it down. You have to remember when they seen us, when they, when it came out, everybody was talking about it. Everybody made videos. Everybody was upset. Everybody find out who she was. Nobody knew who she was for years until this sh show came out. And when it came out, yes, people demanded anybody would, would sense demanded you to be removed from everything because you didn't deserve to be there. How are you going to come up off of putting innocent kids in jail? And you made all this money and now you mad, please. You deserve to lose a whole lot. They should put you in jail for 50 years. 
That'll be a good end for you. All that stuff that they went through, that they didn't have to go through, getting beaten, getting raped, all kinds of other things that they dealt with because of you. And then you want to sue Netflix? Man, please. Netflix got the money to fight you. I don't, you don't have their money. Their money is very long. But leave me a comment. Let me know what thing about this situation with this Linda Ferristein woman just mad that her situation just got put on front street. That's all. She got put on front street. It was exposed. And she can sue all she wants. I mean, somebody can sue you for whatever in this country. But I don't think she's going to win that. They told the story of what happened to them. Oh.